Hello and welcome back to the channel Help Dominance. Anthony here. Please remember to like and subscribe and also click that notification bell if you enjoy what you're seeing and if you want to see more. Coming up in this episode, we have a look at the three squads that have been named for Group A. While we wait for some more, we have a look at England, France and Greeks World Cup squads. And we'll begin with that news that England Rugby League have named their squad for the upcoming World Cup. Head coach Sean Wayne has made some adjustments after three Saints players had ruled themselves out of the World Cup. Initially, we had the news that Alex Wormsley wasn't going to be available, but in the last 24 hours, there has been an announcement over to other Saints players. Over the past 24 hours, it was confirmed that Harris Sunderland Trophy winner Johnny Lomax of Fellas Saints and star Mark Percival have been ruled out of the World Cup for England. He's, Lomax has been a virtual ever presence for Saints as he won a fourth consecutive Super League crown, but hinted after the aftermath of the last triumph that his tournament was in doubt. He was speaking to the medical team about a bicep injury. While Percival has been suffering with a knee problem for the last four to five months. Sean Wayne, though, has made the call to call up Red Devils duo Andy Ackers and Mark Sneed to the England squad for their in, well, possible debuts in the coming World Cup. Sneed, a veteran of over 250 Super League of Career appearances, scoring 33 tries and kicking 804 conversions, has been called up in the, the, the squad to add a little bit of, I would say, attacking kicking flair to a South, a, an England side that has lost that with Johnny Lomax, while Andy Akers has been a consistent performer all season and helped Salford to get to 6th place and the playoff semi-final. England have also called up Chris Hill after his season with Huddersfield, which saw them reach the playoffs. As well as the forward, forward momentum, Hill can provide a voice in the forward pack as he captains the side and as Captain Warrington before his move to Huddersfield. Here is the squad in full and with Sam Tompkins announced as captain ahead of the World Cup and will lead a squad including five members of the St. Helens team that were crowned Betfred Super League League champions last week and ten other players that were involved in the playoffs. There are three more based in the NRL in the 24, which includes Victor Radley, uh, the, Sol uh, the Sydney Roosters forward, and Tom Burgess, as well as Elliot Whitehead, who has been captain for the Camaraders despite a few absences this year. The three others are Luke Thompson, who joined, um, who joined uh, Canterbury Bulldogs from St. Helens two years ago, Dominic Young, who has made an impact with Newcastle Knights, and Herbie Farmworth, the a Lancastrian team who joined Brisbane Broncos as a teenager. Wayne has also named three foreign-based players as his name three Englishmen playing in France for Catalan's Dragons, with Mike McMeekin and Michael McAloran joining Tompkins in the squad. The squad includes eight players who were involved in the 2017 World Cup, and Burgess is one of the four who played in their third World Cup. The other players are Callum Watkins, the Huddersfield prop Chris Hill who we mentioned, and Hull KR winger Ryan Hall, who has an opportunity to add into his record tally of 35 England tries. As you would expect, there is a lot of new faces in an England squad, but they've been in and around Sean Wayne's um, call-ups for the last, well, I don't know, two years, three years since he took over the job. So, it'll be a quick integration, we're hoping, but I was expecting Dominic Young to miss out in this World Cup and go with Jamaica for the next, this year before transitioning over to England with a tier 1 tier 2 status so his call up has been quicker than many have expected I think that's more down to the fact that there are a few wing injuries and uh, 
some playing not as well in form. Well, well England are still looking at that 2017 World Cup uh, final squad and are looking to add those extras to see if they can repeat it or even go one better this year. Now we turn our attention to two of the three opponents for England in their group for the World Cup as we look at Greece first and that Greece were the first team to announce their um, squad for the upcoming World Cup and while they have some headline si um, names in their squad like Lachlan Ilias who may have felt like a king uh, when he was named in front of the star-studded crowd in Sydney's Grand Roxy last week, he won't be travelling like one. The 22-year-old South Sydney half was, was the headliner's debut since Greece became the first team in the men's side to finalise the squad, with J junior Kiwi Jonathan uh, Jordan Means again captaining. Ilias will be joined by South. Uh, teammate Peter Mamazoulias and Canterbury uh, Tyro Billy uh, Sakidis and also ex warranted import Billy Magulius. Elias has been had asked team benefactor and Sydney Roosters chairman Nick Politis via the media for a business class seat because of a nagging back complaint. The youngster told the Sydney Herald, I've never met Nick, but I'm thinking of asking him if I can fly to England in business class, just out my back. Elias and Politis were, weren't observed speaking at the dinner, but the answer to the request has come back, and it's not good. Nick told me there were no business class seats for Lachlan, unfortunately. Team manager Terry Libra Paul. Uh, Polos uh, said, I apologise for the mispronunciations, he said if he gave a business class seat to Lachlan, he'd give one each to the Sydney Rooster players travelling to the World Cup also. Politis was joined at the dinner which featured traditional Greek dancing by former Australian captain George Peponis, another ex-kangaroo in uh, Brave Anasta, Anasta Boxing champion uh, Jeff Fennick, businessman Mark Burris, World Cup winning coach Tim Sheens and 14 members of the squad. Around 14,000 Australian dollars was raised to help with the expenses as the team that came in from the cold prepares to make its bow just months after the sport was finally recognised by the Greek government. So, who have they named in their squad? Well, early on in the squad picking, well, the selection process, Greece decided that they were going to choose eight players from their domestic competition. As we said, it's only just been recognised as a, a sport, a recognised sport in Greece. So to name eight of their squad in that, it would be fantastic. And they have. As Ilias headlines he, the squad, there's where to start. The 22-year-old has already made uh, 26 appearances for the uh, Rabbitohs since making his debut in 2021. And he was the starting halfback for the uh, Rabbitohs in the last playoff games. Hooker Mamazoulas is 21, made his NRL debut last year and has since made five appearances. He's also won seven caps for Greece. Canterbury forward, uh, Canterbury Bulldogs prop uh, Billy Sikrikas will be adding to his six Greek caps. He had made his international debut for Greece eight years before he made his NRL debut. Former Warrington forward Billy Magulius who now plays for the Newtown Jets in the New South Wales Cup, has also been named in the Greek squad, which is coached by former Warrington player, Steve Jorgaris. Jorgalis. London Broncos pair Rob Tuliatu and Adam Vranos uh, will both represent the capital for Greece. 
while a player named Stefan Bastos will be familiar name to Rugby League Anorax. The 28-year-old prop has previously played for Hamel Hampstead, the Stags, uh, Doncaster and Coventry Bears in League One and has also won 12 caps from his uh, for his country. There are several players included in the New South Wales Cup and Queensland Cup competitions such as Johnny Mitsias, uh, Nick Magulias, uh, Nick Flocas, Chase Robinson and Jake Cambos. Jogalis has included those eight players from the Greek domestic competition with players represented from the likes of Aris Eagles, Attica Rhinos and Rhodes Knights. Well, now we come to the French side to end the episode and 20 of the 24 men's players for the Rugby League World Cup have drawn from Super League squads of Catalans and Toulouse. Head coach Laurent Ferreira, who named in his list this week with Halifax's Louis Dufresne, the son of former Dragons chief executive Christophe Dufresne, getting his chance due to on an eligibility through injury of the Huddersfield half Theo Farge. Other absences are Romain Navarre and Julian Busquets, who both have knee injuries. While Lucas Albert has been injured due to different sorts of injuries. We had to compensate for Julian Busquets, Roman Navarre and Theo Farge due to injuries like Lucas Albert, Frazier New explained. Julian has been out since July, Lucas since mid-August, while Romain tried everything to recover from his knee injury but to no avail. Theo has accumulated injuries for nearly 15 months, adding to two concussions in the last two months, which medically does not allow him to be fit for the competition, Brayson who explained. In the squad, Brayson who has named 13 Catalans players and seven from Toulouse, with the likes of uh, Lama Belmas, Paul Marcon, Anthony Marion are all joining the uh, French squad. While the likes of Arta Morgs, Fouid Yaha, Paul Sangare will be the ones that will be included notably for the Ram Catalan's Dragons. Other players like Maxim Pouet, who had just leave, left to lose, Morgan Escare, and also the aforementioned Dufresne complete the squad for the club for the French team there is also a call up from for Gadwin Springer into the squad after his exploits in the playoffs with Beverston this year so there they are three of the four squads for Group A England France and Greece some more yet to come as there are a few players still got a game to go in the NRL Penrith face Parramatta on Sunday for the Grand Final. And a few Samoan players like Jerome Luai, Brian Toto, just to name two, will be involved in that game. There could be suspensions, there could be injuries. So, like Australia, New Zealand, Tonga. I think Tonga have named their squad, so we're fine there. But Samoa holding up for a few more days before they make that, uh, they get their full commitments. It'll be interesting to see how the group goes, especially when it goes off with a bang between England and Samoa in Game 1 at St. James's Park on the 15th of October. And that's it for another episode, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for watching. Please remember to like, subscribe and share this video worldwide, as well as clicking that notification bell for any updates on new videos that may be coming your way in the near future. Tell me what your thoughts are on today's episode in the comment section below. Do you think the names in the squad are going to show where the teams are going to finish? I've got a feeling the Greece and France will miss out on escaping the group. And England and Samoa will be the two that go through. I don't know 100%, but France may cause a surprise, though. I think it's between Samoa and France in the second place, while England are going to win it. 
Yeah, if you disagree with that, tell me in the comment section below. Greece are developing their World Cups with their international side. Fair play to them. Eight domestic players. Fair play to them again. But do you think that might be a little less quality for them to compete? Don't know. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Please remember to share, share, share this video worldwide. I'm now end by wishing you all the best. So please stay safe and I'll see you in the next episode.